In this coding exercise guide, we've been asked to create the alphabet using a method and to store the alphabet in an array. So if we take a look at our test, we can see right here that the expectation is that we can call this method and then the return value should be an array of strings going from A all the way through Z. Now, obviously, it would be possible to simply start typing out the full alphabet. However, that is not allowed for this coding exercise. That would be cheating. What we want to do is be able to dynamically create the alphabet and to do it in a pretty efficient manner. Now, there are a few ways that we could do this, but one of them is definitely the easiest. And if you've never worked with ranges in Ruby, then you may be very interested to see how easy solving this problem actually is. So traditionally, when you see ranges, you see something like this, where you may have something that's like 1, dot, dot, 25, and then you can cast it to an array. And if you run this code right here, you can see it is going to generate an array going from 1 all the way through 25. So that is a nice handy thing. I, I use that on a pretty regular basis whenever I need a range of numbers. Now the thing that isn't quite well as known is that this actually takes in strings as well and it can parse the strings just like it does the numbers. So in other words, I could pass in A right here, and I could pass in K, run the same code, and you can see that it actually knows, Ruby knows that when I say A to K, that I'm looking to generate a succession of characters all in a specific sequence, just like this. And as you may assume, this doesn't just go up to K. We can also do this to generate the full alphabet. So all I have to do is change this and say A to Z. If I run this, you can see we have the full alphabet just like that. So that is how easy it is. So all we have to do is paste this up here. And now we will have something that should pass all of our tests. So I'm going to save this, run RSpec January 5th, and that passes one example, zero failures. So that is how easy it is to generate the full alphabet without having to hard code any values and by leveraging the range mechanism in Ruby.